you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries february 26th friday let's bring this day with the blessings of god the reading from the holy gospel according to say matthew chapter 5 verses 22 26 For I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and the Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to those of ancient times, You shall not murder, and whoever murders shall be liable to judgment. But I say to you that if you are angry with your brother or sister, you will be liable to judgment. And if you insult your brother or sister, you will be liable to the council and if we say you fool you will be liable to the hell of fire so when you are offering your gift at the altar if you remember that your brother or sister has something against you leave your gift there before the altar and go first be reconciled to your brother or sister and then come and offer your gift come to terms quickly with your accuser while you are on the way to court with him or your accuser may hand you over to the judge and the judge to the court and you will be thrown into prison truly i tell you you will never get out until you have paid the last penny the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ dear friends Today's readings are about repentance for the wrong you have done or we have done and the guarantee of God's mercy. This passage comes from the Sermon on the Mount and is the first of six so-called antithesis where Jesus contrasts the demands of the law with those of the gospel. Virtue for the scribes and the Pharisees was largely measured by external observance of the law for jesus that's not enough for him real virtue is in the heart there was a commandment not to kill but jesus says that he even hated an anger violence in the heart must be avoided furthermore we cannot have one set of relationships with god and another set of with the uh, people so it is no use going to pray and make our offering to god if you have done hurt to your brother or sister i must leave my gift at the altar and first go and be reconciled with my brother or sister only then may i come to offer my gift i can't say i love god but i hate my brother or sister if someone says he loves god but hates his brother is a liar first john chapter 4 verse 20 and often as often as you did not do it to the least of these you did not do it to me repentance has to be expressed both to god and the person i have cut i cannot be reconciled to one and not to the other we have something like this in every celebration of the eucharist although in practice it can be very superficially done at the beginning of the communion we together we say the lord's prayer in which we all say forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us how often are we conscious of saying those words and how often do we really mean them amen may god bless